Good morning. How's everyone? Uh, you got to forgive me for the clickbait title, but uh, I just wanted to be honest. Uh, I'm going to be drinking the morning mix. Now, I have to uh, confess that I have been uh, avoiding my least favorite, uh, which is probably one of the most beneficial things for you to do uh, as part of your morning ritual. Um, because I don't like it. And uh, yeah, sometimes it makes me cry. And it always makes me sweat. But I'm going to show you how to do this. Okay. Um, pH balance is very important for your health. And uh, this is especially true as uh, concerns acidity. It seems that everything uh, good everything that we like is acidic, right? The meat, the sweets, the alcohol, the uh, you name it, man. I mean, anything that we really enjoy, smoking, uh, you know, anything that we enjoy uh, makes the, the milieu of the body uh, acidic. And when I say milieu, I mean not only the blood, but the, uh, the water and uh, all of your, um, uh, the bodily fluids inside the body. Now, previously, we talked about um, diatomaceous earth and bentonite clay, and we're going to be doing that today as well. And um, today, I'm going to talk about <laughs> apple cider vinegar, okay, um, and baking soda. Now, this is a very good way to turn your body uh, alkaline if it's uh, acidic. And for those of you who may like to, you know, drink alcohol, uh, you'll find yourself uh, in the morning um, feeling acidic, feeling a little queasy in the stomach, and uh, that's uh, acidity. Uh, acidity is not good. Um, cancerous tumors develop in an acidic body, in an acidic milieu. Uh, so you don't want that. Um, so uh, this is a good way to turn your body alkaline. So how are we going to do this? Maybe I'll just take it from the most difficult part first. Uh, I'm admitting uh, you're probably going to see me cry because I'm not a fan of the taste of this stuff, but it's good for you. Apple cider vinegar. Okay. First, I'm going to take this empty glass right here and I'm going to show you uh, I don't drink the vinegar and the baking soda together. Some people do. Some people do. But I'm going to show you what happens when you mix apple cider vinegar with baking soda in the glass. This is the way some people actually drink it. And uh, I think I got a little cayenne pepper in here, so I like to shake it up. All right. That's a little apple cider vinegar. Okay. And this is, as you recognize, this good old-fashioned Arm & Hammer baking soda. All right. All right. Let me show you what happens. You see that? Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Look at that reaction. Okay. And uh, some people do this and then drink it, right? They'll uh, they'll mix the two, right? Apple soda and baking, I mean, baking soda and uh, apple cider vinegar. And, um, and then they'll drink it. Um, yeah, you can do it that way. Uh, you know, that's not the way I do it. Uh, I like to have that reaction happen inside and uh, because it also has a very uh, cleansing effect on the digestive system. It really, really does. And uh, you know what I mean. <laughs> so I'm not going to go into that. And like I said, I don't like the taste, so I'm not going to drink very much. And really not very much is required, to be honest with you. And then... I take a teaspoon of baking soda 
and I just mix it in water. Okay, soda water, same as the fizzly, bubbly stuff that you get, right? Bicarbonate of soda and water. Okay, now what are these? These are kombucha bottles that I have filled three fourths of the way with water. And what are they for? You guessed it bentonite clay and diatomaceous earth. Uh, because when all is said and done, bentonite clay and diatomaceous earth will, bentonite clay especially, will neutralize everything in your system and uh, it'll go through like a smart bomb. But I'm not going to I'm not going to hit that yet. I'm not going to drink the bentonite clay yet or the diatomaceous earth, but it is part of my morning ritual. I do have a big gulp cup with water right here. This is my emergency water uh, to kind of uh, douse things if they get a little too fired up. All right. So this is good for turning your blood and your body uh, from being acidic into alkaline. Uh, uh, it's a good way to fight cancer. Uh, cancer cannot develop in an alkaline envi environment. Um, it's good for losing weight. It's good for dissolving the uh, fat in the belly, uh, which makes it long overdue for me. And uh, so here we go. And I try not to breathe through my nose when I'm drinking my apple cider vinegar. Yum. <laughs> ah. And there goes the bicarb. So uh, I'm going to try not to belch. <laughs> but uh, there you go. There you have it. And like I said, you could always mix it and drink it afterward. But I don't think this is too appealing. I don't really want to do that. Okay. Now, once this settles, and it is settling right now, uh, I'm breaking into a little sweat and Sorry, I promised I was going to cry, but it didn't taste as bad as it usually does. Maybe it's because I'm getting accustomed to it. Uh, this is a half bottle or one third of a bottle of hot water. Okay. And in the hot water, I think I might have some... Turmeric. Okay, I'm gonna have to clean the table later because this gets kind of messy. Turmeric is very good for you in many, many, many ways. Okay, so we will call this turmeric water. And hot water is better because it dissolves turmeric. Uh, some people say turmeric. Uh, and reishi mushroom, which is red mushroom. Some people call it Chinese red mushroom, Japanese red mushroom. Um, the, the term for the substance you're getting out of this is called Ganoderma, G-A-N-O-D-E-R-M-A. And I uh, highly recommend you get yourself some Ganoderma. Uh, it boosts the immune system and uh, it's, uh, it fights cancer, actually. It's known for fighting cancers. Okay. Right. Sometimes I'll throw a green tea in there, you know, for flavor. Or if I have honey, you know, I'll squeeze a little honey in there. The Ganoderma kind of tastes like a mocha, you know. It has a little, like a mocha type flavor to it. Or a little, like cacao, right? Totally unsweetened. Um, unsweetened chocolatey type of uh, flavor 
not as chocolatey as chocolate, of course, because only chocolate is chocolate, but it kind of has that cacao type of flavor. And then you just make sure that they're very, very mixed up. Okay. And my uh, cooler makes very, very hot water. So this is not even ready to drink. That's why the Chinese don't put handles on their teacups because if it's too hot to hold, then it's too hot to drink. And this is too hot to hold. That's why I keep moving it around. But uh, I'll let that settle and you can see the color of that. And uh, turmeric, Ganoderma, I kind of sip on that for a while. And in the meantime, I can mix a little bit of diatomaceous earth. Diatomaceous earth is similar to bentonite clay. Uh, diatomaceous earth is a product of um, fossils uh, often found near volcanic sites. Um, and because of the molecular structure of diatomaceous earth, it has a cleansing property uh, when it goes through your body. So it can be ingested. And this is, excuse me, a little bit of that gas coming up. This is diatomaceous earth. Mixing that with uh, some cold water, all right? This is the morning ritual. Like I said, uh, the hard part is over, which is the, uh, the vinegar, drinking vinegar. I guess I guess you know different people have different tastes. I like vinegar on a salad, but if I'm not like you know crunching on some vegetables or uh, lettuce or something, then just drinking vinegar by itself is it's not a turn on for me. So here goes some diatomaceous earth. I didn't drink the bentonite clay immediately because what's happening right now is I'm allowing the uh, uh, vinegar and baking soda to alkalinize my digestive system, to, to alkalinize my, my, my body. Now, this isn't something you want to do on, on, an on, you know, on an ongoing basis because your digestive system needs to be acidic in order to digest your food. So I'm not really a fan of spending the whole day drinking alkaline water or anything like that. We have to be uh, uh, cognizant of the fact that all of the body doesn't have to be uh, at the same level, the same pH uh, level all the time. Your digestive tract is supposed to be acidic in order to digest your food. But this is a good thing to do on an empty stomach first thing in the morning uh, to alkalinize your body now to cleanse, okay? That's good. Some dinosaur bones. Okay. And then after a while, I'm not going to do it immediately. Um, I don't want to have the the uh, diatomaceous earth mixing with bentonite clay just yet. So then I'm going to allow this to work for a while, okay? And then I'm going to maybe have a little bit of the um, turmeric uh, mixed with Ganoderma. And at some point uh, before I actually have a solid meal, um, I'll do the same mixture of one spoon, one uh, teaspoon of uh, calcium bentonite clay with uh, about three quarters of this uh, bottle full of water. Shake it up 
and then drink it. Uh, what does the bentonite clay do? The bentonite clay uh, has a negative magnetic charge. Bentonite clay is a product of uh, volcanoes. It's a product of volcanic ash, and it has a negative magnetic charge. You have to handle bentonite clay with a plastic spoon or a wooden spoon, not with metal, okay? And, uh, excuse me, mm, that gas is finally coming up. Um, and... Uh, uh, it draws out the positively charged uh, heavy metal toxins that are in your body, and it draws them out from the inside. So it's very, very good for you. Um, it's good for weight loss. It's good for killing uh, parasites that might live in your digestive tract and your intestines. Um, it has a lot of benefits. Uh, bentonite clay has, has a lot of benefits. And you can find it, as I always say, at goodmamascleansingclay.com. Uh, this is something put together by uh, 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 some very good friends of mine uh, that have been uh, Sean and Tracy Walker that have been in the holistic health business for quite a few years. So I do recommend you go to goodmamascleansingclay.com for your bentonite clay. And they also have some very good turmeric. I get my turmeric from them as well. Um, so yeah, I think this is maybe cool enough that I can take a taste so that you can see that I actually do drink this stuff. Okay. And like I said, you can feel free to sweeten it with honey or whatever. Mm. But it has a pretty good flavor by itself. Or maybe it's an acquired taste, or maybe it's that the taste grows on you. I don't know. I don't know what it is. But um, I find it a lot easier to drink turmeric and gonoderma mixed than it is to drink uh, apple cider vinegar, even though the apple cider vinegar is going to have the, the most immediate uh, impact on your, on your condition. Um, all right. So here we are. Now, uh, this is just something that I suggest. You don't have to wake up every single morning and, and drink these, these concoctions. But try to make it at least one or two uh, days a week that you, that you have time when you get up in the morning and, and get started. Um, give yourself a shot of that uh, apple cider vinegar and chase it down. Chase it with some um, uh, baking soda. I think it's better to have that reaction going on in your digestive tract than it is to have it, you know, going on in a glass and then drink the results of that. I don't know, to each his own. But um, uh, apple cider vinegar with baking soda is good. Some people are mixing apple cider vinegar um, with uh, black seed oil, and uh, they say that they're getting really good results from that. Um, I haven't tried that. I have started with black seed oil very recently, so um, I won't talk about that until I can speak intelligently about my own uh, results. And um, I'm also uh, taking blackstrap molasses, which uh, they say will get rid of my grays. So we'll see. Uh, we'll see as time goes by if that works as well. Um, so that's about it. Thank you guys for uh, joining. I'm sorry about the malfunction of my microphone the last time, and I hope everything sounds good this time. Um, and uh, thanks. Wow, we've got quite a crowd this time. Uh, thanks for joining us, and uh, be healthy, and be happy, and enjoy the rest of the day. Yes.